Thank you for welcome back everybody to my next movie review. Now, um, before I start talking about this movie, um, I want to start off by saying, um, as I do this movie review, I'm pretty sure my husband is finally going to do a movie review of this movie himself. But uh, if he does, and you're you know watching, you know this play the playlist I'm going to put this movie review on and the other ones on, and you notice he's doing a movie review of the same thing. There's a reason for that. He said he wanted to do a movie review of this movie I'm going to do in this video, plus another one. But I want to give my my take on everything first, so you, know, you can hear my opinions on the movie. And then, you know, if you see him in a video talking about the same movie, you know, that's his opinion on the movie. Um, this movie is like the second or third movie, maybe, that Quentin Tarantino ever was involved with. The first one was romance which I absolutely it, it's a good movie I mean it's one of my you know favorite movies it's a little bit on the violent side which of course I've noticed a trend you know all his movies seem to be really freaking violent you know um you know it, this is you know of course pulp fiction um one of my siblings I won't say who which one of them uh just loves this movie and you know Unfortunately, he came home and was like, let's watch this, you know, way back in the day before we were both married and had families and stuff. And I'm like, we watched part of it. And I tell you what, how many different times does somebody need to say the F word? The F word being F-U-C-K, you know, and, I, and they weren't spelling it. I mean, actually here on YouTube, there's a video where it's like it shows them, like, all the, you know, the people in this movie going, you know, going F this, F that, you know, it's like, you know, literally F, F, F. And I'm like thinking, how many times do they need to say the F word? Seriously. I mean, in one movie. You know, this movie is rated R. Um, you know, and, you know, I mean, it is just, you know, it, it's, very, it's, it's, it's perversive, strong language. But that's putting it mildly, children. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, F this, F that, F, F, F. And I'm like, Dang, you know, how many times do you need to say that word? Um, but, uh, other than it being, you know, basically, you know, the F-bomb movie, um, one of the funniest scenes involves Samuel L. Jackson and, uh, John Travolta with this guy. And they're interrogating this guy, and they're like, Samuel L. Jackson says, it asks the guy, the, the, the guy that they're interrogating a question, and the guy goes, the guy getting interrogated goes, what? And, and he's like, you know, like, apparently not understanding it. And Samuel Jackson just beats the piss out of this guy. He goes, he goes, you know, and he's like, what ain't no country I've ever heard of? You know, they speak English and what? <laughs> um, you know, and, and it's seriously, it's like, you know, there's a few people I've dealt with recently that I, I want to say, you know, the thing, and he's like, but Daniel Jackson's like, if you say what one more time, you MF, you know, I'll blow your brains out, you know, or something like that. And, you know, he just goes, you know. Um, that's about the only funny part of that movie. Because um, Samuel Jackson cracks me up. I mean, somebody else, um, and I can't say who it is because I don't remember offhand, um, took uh, parts from Pulp Fiction and mixed it with the stuff from... Um, the first, uh, Star Wars movie, you know, not number, not number four, number one, um, you know, the, the first, like, the, the prequel, the very first prequel, and it's like, they're, it's like, you know, he's sitting there, and he's talking to, you know, um, you know, well, you know, the guy that ends up becoming Darth Vader, I, I saw it in the theater, and that, that's one movie that, you know, I'd rather forget, you know, um, or was it the Revenge of the Sith? I think it was Revenge of the Sith. And they mix, you know, like, lines from this movie with that movie, and it's, it's funny. You know, I mean, it is kind of funny, although I don't care for either mo this movie or that movie. Um, but it, that was kind of funny, and he's, it's just, <clears throat> it's almost, it, it's pretty funny. I mean, you know, for all things considered. But anyway, um, this is definitely a guy flick. This movie has, just for the record, 
John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman, who I, has made like a bunch of, you know, Quentin Tarantino movies, uh, Harvey Cattell, Tim Roth, Amanda Plummer, Maria de Mer Mercedes, Thing Grames, Eric Stoltz, Rosanna Arquette, Christopher Walken, and Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis plays a fighter. And I mean, this is like a, um, I remember, um, like, uh, Quentin Tarantino saying something about this being like a, kind of like a Pulp Fiction magazine, and that's why it's like none of the stories are like, you know, tied together or anything. You know, because it's like, um, you know, it's supposed to be like, you know, you're reading a comic book or something. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> but anyway, um, now, like I said, uh, you know, if you see my husband doing a movie review of this movie later, that's to be expected, because, you know, he and I are going to do movie reviews on here. Um, this is definitely, in my opinion, a guy flick. Not a guy flick that I like, though. Oh, nothing against Quentin Tarantino, because, you know, he makes some sound movies. This is proof of it. You know, so it's true romance and glorious bastards. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hang on, I've got some more movies for you, alright? Hang on.